Which is a, a very interesting model. You don't see many examples of a, a consortium that involves the United Nations and a member state and civil society. Uh, as partners in a single entity. But the test of time has shown that this model, in this case, has been very effective. And the United Nations has brought its tremendous capabilities and reputation and convening powers. And Australia with its also reputation, uh, as well as technical expertise, and then uh, International IDEA and IFAS as members of civil society. So it's it's been um, a really successful 20-year partnership. For IFAS, actually, a bit less. We, we came in late to the game. Others had the, the idea and brought it together, and we joined uh, initially in 2006 in a pilot project in Yemen, and then in 2007 as, as a full uh, partner. But we've had uh, wonderful experiences working with our partners in Bridge since 2007. Countries around the world, I think it's been over a hundred, uh, and we've worked together to update Bridge and introduce new modules as new needs for election administrators develop. Uh, modules on electoral dispute resolution, cybersecurity, uh, inclusion, uh, or accessibility, which I think is something we've all shown a real commitment to over the years, making sure that uh, everyone gets to participate equally in the uh, democratic process and the key event of, of elections. I think uh, Elizabeth mentioned uh, the survey that was done of Bridge alumni back in 2020. We all think Bridge is great, uh, and we have these wonderful photos and exhibit outside showing how great it is. Uh, but a true test is checking in with the alumni. And as Elizabeth mentioned, there was uh, overwhelming positive reaction from the alumni who felt that Bridge really helped advance their professional growth and build their skills, their knowledge, and their confidence uh, in conducting uh, or in participating or fulfilling their responsibilities. It also heightened their commitment to inclusion and accessibility, again, such an important principle. And there are some beautiful photos out there with examples of that kind of work that Bridge uh, has resulted in in Kyrgyzstan and, and Sri Lanka. So even while we have much to celebrate now, uh, after these 20 years, we are all, of course, very mindful of the challenges that democracy around the world is facing, uh, that election administration is facing, and election administrators. Uh, we know that just recently, uh, a colleague of ours, a Kenyan election administrator, was killed in the advance of the August 9 elections in Kenya. So. Uh, we have, as we have done in the last 20 years, we have to take our responsibilities very seriously and modernize Bridge going forward to make sure we're doing everything we possibly can to equip election administrators who have such enormous difficult jobs. You'll hear from Tom in a second. Uh, and I, I, I feel that responsibility very acutely. And it's something that uh, the bridge partners are going to have to work strongly on together in a collaborative manner, as we always have worked in the, the months and years ahead. Um, but even while uh, we are mindful of that uh, heavy responsibility, uh, we can now uh, celebrate the fact that this consortium has done so, this partnership has done such a great job over these past 20 years. So thank all of you who have contributed to it. Thank you for coming and um, let's celebrate.